welcome everyone so we're going to continue with our basic setup for our inventory and crafting system so open up your inventory parent and i forgot one thing is that we want to destroy our actor once we have overlapped it and applied our gameplay effect okay and now what you want to do is create child grouping class for this and this is going to be bb underscore apple okay and open this up uh, close it open it again so it opens up like this and what you see that we have our mesh IGE class and our amount over here so for the mesh I'm going to say apple and this is from the group pack okay compile and save this duplicate this and change this to orange and change this to orange okay compile and save this duplicate this once again for pineapple and search for pineapple okay compile and save this so we are not going to have for fruit cocktail and apple pie because they are the craftable kind of items so they do not will not exist inside of the world and now what we want to do is actually create these g classes for our inventory go back to our folder and create a new folder ge classes and create a new grouping class and this is going to use type game play effect this one I'm going to call this ge underscore give apple open this up and I'm going to close and open this again so it open up like this and I'm going to add a modifier for this and this is going to be adding my apple and this is going to give me one apple so there's no way to change this uh, at runtime if you want to say for example you have five apples or ten apples there's no way to do that so we are going to use a curve table to define this and fake the amount that we're going to give to the character by using the levels for the gameplay effect so i've created this uh, csv file and i'm going to import this inside of my project so going back to our data table, I'm going to import this. So I want to import this as a curve table and interpolation is going to be linear. And open this up and what you see is that it's just like this. Save this and going back to our GE give apple, I'm going to use this G level and select the row as amount. And what you will see now is that my preview is showing that for each level I'm going to exactly uh, that amount of apples or oranges or pineapples okay so let's go back and create for orange and pineapple as well so I'm going to say give orange open this up and change this to orange and file and save this duplicate this and create this for pineapple okay Save this and we are going to change this to pineapple. Okay, compile and save this. So now we are going to actually use these classes inside of here. For apple is going to be give apple, for orange is going to be give orange, and for pineapple is going to be give pineapple. Okay, compile and save this, compile and save, compile and save this. Okay, so this is done. And just to give it a more uh, visible visibility inside of the world what I'm going to do is go back to our inventory parent and I am going to add our rotating movement component this one and change the display mesh size to 2 click compile and save this so now what you would see is that if I add my apple my orange and my pineapple this and uh, if I play this you see they are rotating so they are slightly more visible than if they were static okay and now what I want to do is create a user interface for this so I have already gone ahead and prepared a bit of user interface for this so I'm going to actually create this full cocktail set alongside with you Take note that so what you want to do is search for overlay 
and drag it over here. I'm going to name this full property set. And then what you want to do is search for image, drag it here, and then call this full property. And I am going to use my image for that. Okay, and then what you want to do is set this over to size to text. And I am going to move it to like negative 2 and negative 2.5. Drag out the text. And I'm going to name this full property. Change the color to green so that we know that this is a craftable item. Um, 30. Okay. And I forgot the alignment, I think, yes. And I want to drag the text, one more text, and this is going to be called amount full property. Okay, and I'm going to change the text to zero, change the alignment like this, and change the color to green as well. Okay, change the size. Okay, this is done. So what I'm going to do is a binding for this text. So this text is going to be driven by our inventory mount that we have inside of our inventory set. So I'm going to create a binding and for this function what we do is create a new variable called this umg owner and change the type to third person character. Okay now you could use your base character or player character or enemy character whatever you want but for this example I'm using third person character as my base character so I'll be using this. I have already set up this variable and declared it as public. So what I'm going to do is drag it out from here and say get inventory attribute component and from here I'm going to drag out and say get full property. Now in the previous series I had a data function for this. You could use those functions or you could use it like this. Next what you do is right click over here and say script structure and get this current value over here. Okay, this is done. Now I'm going to open up my third person character. And over here, what I'm going to do is on begin play, I want to create my inventory user interface. So I'm going to say create widget and use this UMG inventory. I'm going to say set UMG owner. And this is going to be cell. And from here, I'm going to move this to a variable and call this inventory umg. Okay. And now, what I want to do is actually create a button that's going to display and hide my inventory. So, we're going to our project setting under the input section, action mapping. I've already created one open close inventory, and this is set to my tab key. Okay, so what I'm going to do is search for open close inventory and drag out from here and say flip flop. And I'm going to drag this out and say add to new port. This is going to be on the flip and on the flop, I'm going to say remove from parent, like so. I think everything should be done by now. Let's check this out. So I press my tab key. I have my inventory UMV displayed. And if I press the tab key again, it hides. Now if I overlap these, they are being destroyed. And now I should have one apple, one orange, and one pineapple. So this is it for the base setup. And in the next video, we're going to move a little bit more towards the crafting and how you can use your gameplay abilities to act as your crafting recipes and we're going to end the video by modifying these amounts and acquire different types of and dropping these items if you want to from our inventory so this is it for this video thank you very much